Hello. Today's video is about IEETOS. I had a question on YouTube about running this on my project. Let me just pan over. For those of you who have not seen my other videos, this is my PCXT compatible motherboard. This one's running a VGA card, 512K of RAM. I've got my 10 megahertz processor card in there. This was the V40. Um, running from a USB drive. So we're going to boot FreeDOS and then we're going to run the uh, IEETOS on FreeDOS. So this is like a uh, DOS shell. I uh, just searched in Google for it, found the website right away. Pretty easy to navigate, found the download, downloaded the beta version, uh, zip file, and then I just emptied the contents into this, onto this USB drive, and it was in a folder called 431, maybe that's like the release or something. In there I found a program called main which seems to start it just fine. There's an install, I didn't try that at all. So it opens up here. I don't have a mouse. I was looking, there was a YouTube, or not a YouTube video, a DOS box you could run it in online and the mouse is available so you're able to just click on things and it runs. I printed off, there was uh, some hotkeys. I printed off things so I can reference that here. Um, things like enter means yes, exit, to escape means no, F1's help, arrow keys will get you around the screen, uh, Alt F4 will close the windows, Alt F3 minimize window, there's a few others. So anyway, I'll just go across the top here real quick, try to mo not to make this video too long. So run a program, we'll just hit enter on that. So you just tab through, it gets to the bottom. I can't figure out how to tab back. Let's see, shift, no. Hit escape. And you start over. So let's go. I just typed it in there and hit enter. There you are. Let's see, we're running debug. That's fine. So, run a program is the first one. We've got. So if we hit Alt F4, it'll close that. File Manager. Little File Browser. Let's go. So it takes us over there. Let's go. Not sure how we select that, but a little browser. It looks like there's an open view, copy, cut, paste. So, wait. Hold F4 to close that. There's a control panel. Haven't played around in here much. It's got some configuration file types. New shortcut about. The clock, it's actually always running. It's down here in the bottom corner. VPU console, uh, there was a little video demo on this online, I'm not sure much about this, um, but there's that for you. See, so you can go over here, let's go up to the top one here, DOS prompt, just like uh, Windows 311, it brings over here, got a prompt. You can see there's quite a few files in here. But if you type exit, take you right back to the shell here. See text editor. I 
So it opens up Run a Program, Text Edit. I'll just hit Enter on that. See what happens. So it's saying uh, Usage. So it wants to see a file name. It's just saying Return to Shell. Maybe because we didn't load a file. Uh, DOS Edit. Exit that window. So, I had this happen before when I tried to load a program. Can't quite see what that's saying. There's some writing up here. Just exit that. So it doesn't crash the system when something like that happens. Just hit escape and it brings you back here. Non-Unix command line interface. Um, so this is listed in the directory. So, anyway, that's the that's uh, I E T O S running. So. Seems like it's uh it, it's graphics and usability is almost better than Windows 3 and 1.1 1 .1 in a way. It doesn't have as many programs, but uh, a mouse would help. Um, I've tried to run a serial mouse on my computer. I haven't got it to run yet. I don't know if I've got a bad mouse or a bad serial card, one or the other. So anyway, uh, if you're interested in this, I'd say check out the guy's website and uh, give it a try. Well, thank you for watching my video today.